yourself a out-of-the-box thinker, a MacGyver of sorts, a problem solver, a clever, crafty, repair, fix-it kind of person, this video is for you. Watch this, and uh, we'll be back to discuss it. Well, I'll be back. We, we will be back. Okay, hang on. So you see, all, this is what I was saying about how the concrete is disintegrated. I don't know if that's disintegrated or what, but well, go ahead and open it up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to take it down to the base of the keel. Well, that was unexpected. So we used a snake camera, stuck it in the hole. Take a look at this. So this next segment is basically Clint summarizing what's going on and giving us some sense of how he thinks we should approach it. I wanted you guys to see this because I want to be able to discuss all sides. So hang on. Just uh, here comes Clint. Clint is the sort of the director. He's in charge of all the boatyard repair stuff here at DYC. Keep watching. All right, talk to us, Clint. So we have a void right here. Uh, we also have a void right there. Yes. As noted by that sound. Yes. So when we come up here to this, I think we're gonna find the same hole there but it might it may extend. not be full of water. It may not be full of water, but it might extend a little bit further. That's what it should sound like. So we may have independent cavities. We might have a kind of a cavity here um, that's going to be and all of this seems hollow. Ah! All right. So I hope you wrapped your mind around that because, and and hopefully it's interesting, which I find it fascinating, even if it's really fucking depressing when it's your boat. After almost a week, I think we identified a solution. We should fill the bottom section of the of the keel on the starboard side with concrete. We should pour it in there, tap it, vibrate it, try to get it as level as possible, let that settle and then fill the remainder space with a high density expanding foam. I reached out to a company called US Composites and they have a 16 pound per cubic foot closed cell high density expanding foam. 16 pounds per cubic foot is more than the air that's in there, so there's a benefit, right? We're adding weight, not as much as concrete to be sure, but it's weight. Um, we're also adding strength because the stuff is really strong. Right? It is hit it with a hammer. Like it's like concrete. The other thing is it will bond both to the concrete and it's really fantastic substrate for fiberglass. So if we get this foam behind inside the keel where we need to do the fiberglass repair, the fiberglass it won't be hollow and the fiberglass and the resin will have something to attach to. Well, I mean like the, the height, the hybrid solution, the concrete, then the foam 
Oh yeah, that's that's fine. You like that? Yes, I don't like the the idea that we can't we can't make a good pour with the concrete only. I'm gonna post this video and see if anybody objects. Has comments? Has any objections? <laughs> Please, guys, do you know something? Let us know. Yeah. A few moments later. It's a fascinating problem. Not too keen on it being a problem on our boat, but I'm gonna learn a lot. And uh, so that's gonna be the next couple of weeks of videos. I'd love for you to reach out and tell me what you think and how you think and why you think it. Maybe I'll feel better after all the technical gurus on my channel will be like, yeah, that's a good idea. Come on guys, just tell me it's a good idea and go for it. <laughs> no, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me what I wanna hear. Be honest, good night, talk to y'all later, and stay tuned.